the folks that have 10 inches high in slush, what are we telling them? We're coming? We're, your We're road's going to get cleared? Yes. 24 hours after an alderman grilled Milwaukee's Department of Public Works leaders, certain northwest side residential streets, they still look like this. Some of the worst of it in Milwaukee's Cooper Park neighborhood, like the area near 77th and Hadley. That's where 12 News Hannah Hillier joins us live tonight. Hannah, DPW says that crews are coming. Right, so crews, we did spot them about a mile away from where we are right now, trying to tackle those side trees. But this is what we are seeing here near 77th and Hadley. You have some pavement, but still a thick layer of sloppy, slushy ice snow here on this road. Neighbors still frustrated trying to deal with this nearly two weeks after that monster snowstorm. It's a bumpy drive on certain roads in Milwaukee's Cooper Park neighborhood. Feels like you're on a mountain road with the rocks and you're going do 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 and you're moving like you're shaking, yeah. This week's big melt has turned hard packed icy side streets into a slushy mess. Have you guys called the city at all? Yes, we have. Who'd you call and what'd you tell them? We talked to our aldermen. Their alderman, Lamont Westmoreland, who said during a public works committee meeting Wednesday, he's averaging more than 20 complaints a day. Here we are two weeks later, and I've got 10 inches of slush on probably 90% of the roads throughout my district. I know we dropped the material to loosen this stuff up, and it's like, okay, it's loose. Now what? What's the plan? Are we going to move it or are we going to wait for it to freeze again? DPW says the amount of snow and immediate deep freeze did slow them down, but right now they are working to remove the slush, just with a smaller team to keep garbage collection going. It does take time. It absolutely does, and I wish I could make it go faster. Thursday, we spotted crews near 64th and Lisbon, one neighbor even standing up to applaud the site. It's one those like Julie Mercer. These streets over in this area are horrible. Who walks dogs near Cooper Park is hoping to see soon. Willing to cut DPW any slack just considering the amount of snow and then that hard freeze? Um, of course. I mean, there's people, everybody's working hard, and I'm sure DPW is working hard at um, their job and everything, but I think, I think that they can probably get through the streets now. And Hannah, DPW turned down your request for an interview? That's right, Patrick, but they do continue to ask for residents' patience. In the meantime, Alderman Westmoreland today tell, told me that he has heard from some residents today. Grateful, thankful to see those plows finally come through their side streets, but he also says he's heard from just as many folks who have yet to see that and are still very upset. The cleanup continues. Hannah Hilliard live in the Cooper Park neighborhood tonight. DPW officials say you can report any issues by calling 286-CITY.